Hello folks and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be using a simple crop effect and some motion to add a bit of life to a video clip. If we look in the monitor window these are the results of what we're going to be aiming for and it's the sort of effect that we really probably wouldn't use if we're doing sort of fiction or standard film and drama but it's the sort of effect that might be quite good for an advert a promo, or maybe possibly a title sequence for a TV show, or maybe the opening sequence for a film. Suffice it to say that these sort of techniques that are sort of less used in sort of normal narrative mainstream cinema, but these effects are particularly good for bringing a bit of life to work that you're doing for marketing purposes, often promos, often music videos, and often adverts. Now the techniques are fairly simple. It's a simple crop effect and a bit of animated motion. Let's get to work. Now if you look on the screen here, I've got a simple clip of an actor walking across the screen from right to left. It's a fairly good shot, nicely composed, well balanced. But if I was using it really for marketing purposes in a promo say a music video and advert, it does lack a bit of life and it's not wonderfully imaginative. And for a client, we want to do something a little bit more interesting. Right, I'm going to pause it there and if we look in the timeline, I've got the clip and I've duplicated it twice. So we've now got three versions of the clip. I'm going to start by going over to my effects panel and searching for the crop tool. I'm going to drag the crop tool and put it on all three versions of the clip. Now starting at the bottom I'm going to set the top of the crop here to 68 and the bottom to 4. In the middle one I'm going to set the crop to 36 and the bottom to 36. I'm also going to set the top here, I'm going to put the top to 4 and the bottom of the crop to 68. When we've done that, we should have something that looks a little bit like this. And if you want to see how each layer is working, we can actually just hide them here. So I'm going to hide the top layer and I'm going to hide the middle layer. That's what the bottom layer now looks like with the crop on. So the bottom layer has got a crop of 68 here and 4. Let's now look at the middle layer. This is the middle layer and that's got quite an extreme crop on of 36, 36. And the top layer has got a crop of 4 and 68. So that's what the individual layers look like. If we turn them back on, this is what we've got. It's a simple effect but it's added a bit of weight a bit of life and a bit more graphic interest to the clip. Let's give it a bit more punch though with some simple motion moves. I'm going to start with the bottom layer. I'm going to put my time marker to zero and I'm going to open motion here. I'm going to start by just sliding the position of the clip over to the left so that it's off screen, like so. And I'm going to set a position keyframe here. I'm then going to go forward about half a second because I want the moves to be fairly quick. That should do 12 or 13 frames. And I'm then going to position the clip back onto screen so it should come on fairly quickly. Let's have a little look and see how the movement works out. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, let's work on the middle clip. I'm now going to start, I'm going to go back to about 13 frames. And I'm going to position the middle clip in the other direction. I'm going to put that over there, just off screen. And set a keyframe for position there. Then I'm going to go forward to about one second give or take, you don't have to be too precise. Then I'm going to slide that clip back onto the screen like so. Now 
Then I'm going to do the same for the top clip. I'm going to slide the top clip back in this direction off screen. Set a keyframe for position. Go forward again about half a second, give or take. I'll do. Then slide that back onto the screen like so. OK, let's render that out and see how that looks. OK, not too bad. We've taken a simple clip and added a nice stylized effect to it. Now you can improve things a little bit more as well. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the end position of each of the clips. I'm going to go to Temporal Interpolation. And I'm going to make that keyframe ease in. What it means is, is when the clip comes onto the screen, it'll be a subtle change, but it will just slide in a little bit more gently rather than impact in more quickly. It's a subtle change, but it's worth doing. If you want to know a little bit more about Easy Ease Keys, do refer to some of the After Effects tutorials I've posted on this channel. I'm going to do the same for the middle clip as well. Right click here. Ease in. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom clip as well. Right click, ease in. So all these keyframes on each of these three clips, on the end move, they're set to ease in. And it will just be subtle, but it will make the clips glide in with a little bit more softness. Let's render this out now finally one more time and see what we've got. OK, there we go. Not too shabby. So it's a nice little stylistic trick. And I would encourage you all, as you're sort of getting to grips with Premium, working through you know, using your own styles and exploring your creativity, to actually play quite a bit with the crop effect here. Because a simple crop of a clip and a simple bit of motion here, you can actually really start to play with clips, bring them to life, chop them into different sections, get them moving around the screen. And you can take simple footage like this and really bring it to life for a client. Okay, folks, I hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.